Hello, I'm John Roberts, and I'm a Redshift Specialist at AWS. And I'm really excited to talk to you today about analytics velocity. AWS has so many services that help you accelerate gaining insights from your data. AWS makes it possible to increase the velocity of gaining insights, and with many serverless products with pay-as-you-go pricing models, the cost is far less than trying to build solutions the legacy way. Gaining insights to develop and enhance products in industries such as the pharmaceutical industry can be difficult. There are many challenges that must be overcome, and for many organizations, it means spending more time deploying, configuring, and managing software and hardware rather than actually analyzing the data. You may have questions like, what market should I focus on? What drugs are patients using? Where should I invest resources? Instead, you are asking questions about software patches, drivers, and optimal configurations. So questions not related to data at all. The following is a real world example of how a pharmaceutical company leveraged AWS services to increase the velocity of analytics and also decrease the operational costs over an alternative legacy approach. This is Katie, and she's a pharmaceutical researcher that was asked to find the top drugs used for patients with moderate and severe colitis. So she decides to explore using third party data on the AWS data exchange. The AWS Data Exchange is a cloud-native service enabling customers to easily find, subscribe to, and use third-party data. There are thousands of data sets available from hundreds of different data providers in the AWS Data Exchange. Katie finds a free data set from Ovation that meets her needs. It has de-identified patient data for irritable bowel disease, which includes colitis. Ovation is a premier provider of shared services to improve hospital and system performance. Katie's also proficient at SQL and really likes the Ovation dataset because it is available with Redshift Serverless. She's able to, to craft a SQL query that delivers the moderate and severe colitis data that was requested. Amazon Redshift is the best price performance cloud data warehousing service and integrates directly and easily with other services such as the AWS Data Exchange. Katie's manager, Allison, reviews the an analysis but now has more questions. Which severity is most common for colitis? What other IBD diagnoses are available in the Ovation IBD dataset? What are the top drugs for the other diagnosis and severities? Katie thought she was done, but now realizes that the questions will keep on coming. She decides that building an interactive solution is the best way to provide the answers that Allison is looking for. Katie thinks the solution should be graphical and easy to use so that Allison and others can explore and learn more about the data quickly and accurately. Katie finds that Amazon QuickSight is a powerful serverless business intelligence tool that will enable her to build a dashboard for Allison and the team so that they can self-serve and gain insights from the, from the Ovation data faster. Katie builds a dashboard that contains all diagnoses available in the Ovation IBD dataset so that Allison can get answers to other questions she may have. The dashboard also provides severity information with drill down capabilities. Katie then creates a details page of the metrics for each patient. The details page has filter controls so that Allison can filter by the diagnosis and severity. The solution uses serverless products in AWS with pay-as-you-go pricing models. The services are fully managed, optimized, and allows Katie to deliver results with a very high velocity. Next is a demo of Katie's solution. Katie gets started by visiting the AWS Data Exchange with a variety of third-party data sets. She then searches for IBD and finds a product listing from Ovation that is also free. She evaluates the product listing and sees that data is available via S3 and also Amazon Redshift. Amazon Redshift is her preferred access method as it provides robust SQL support, which she is familiar with. She subscribes to the product and then moves on to Amazon Redshift. In the AWS console, Katie finds the Redshift service and immediately picked Try Redshift Serverless Free Trial to get started. Now, she's already done this in a different region, 
So we're now going to switch to the US East 1 region where she has already completed the step. Here we find the serverless dashboard with the work group that was already created. Next, she goes to data shares, which has information about the Ovation data set that she subscribed to. By going to subscriptions under data shares, she can see the Ovation IBD product listing. Next, Katie created a database in Amazon Redshift using the data share. This is not a copy of the data, but instead a link to the data shared via the AWS data exchange. Next, we will connect to the, AMP, to the Redshift serverless so that we can see the schema and tables from the Ovation data set. Here we are using the default database called dev. You can now see the public schema and the 14 tables are available. Next, Katie uses Query Editor V2 to start querying the data. Here are the queries that Katie crafted in her research. It first identifies the patients with pathology diagnosis indicating colitis. Next, Katie finds the metrics for each patient, observes that each type of metric is represented as a separate row. Katie then just uses basic SQL to pivot the data into a crosstab output. Each column will have the value of the metric instead of having this as each row. Lastly, Katie filters the data with, for only severe and moderate disease severity as initially requested. You can see the results are easy to see as separate tabs with a row count in each parentheses. Notice how the last query only has 14 rows of data, which is what caused many of the questions that her manager asked about. Then Katie built out queries that can be used for the dashboard solution so that Allison and the entire team can answer all kinds of questions of the data using a visualization tool. This is another look at the diagnosis, patient diagnosis information uh, that's going to be used in a graphical manner inside the dashboard. And then lastly, this is information regarding the drugs that the patients are taking. Again, not filtering by diagnosis or severity. Moving on to QuickSight, to get started with the, with the building of the QuickSight dashboard, she first created data sets. She simply used the, the queries crafted with Query Editor v2 and Redshift Serverless for three different data sets that will then be used for visualization. She just simply cut and paste the SQL queries she crafted. And these will be used as the data sets for the dashboard. She then created an analysis, which lets her create different types of visualizations using these queries and data sets. This first one shows the pathology diagnosis by severity. So it's an easy way to break down the different types of severities for each of the different types of diagnosis, enabling Allison to ask questions of the data quickly and easily. Here's a heat map showing the same kind of information of disease severity and diagnosis. And this is a two different donut charts. The first one is showing diagnosis breakdown across all the 212 patients in this data set, and it has drill down capabilities. So you can drill down in any one of these metrics and then see um, the severities for that particular uh, diagnosis. And on, on the right is the diagnosis severity across the severities across all diagnoses. And this is the, the drug information, the top 10 drugs used for uh, different diagnosis and severity levels. 
So this is all the data and there's controls at the top to let you filter easily by different diagnosis. You can combine um, multiple ones or just use one, or in this case, just picking um, just colitis and then severity again, you can choose multiple. Um, and in this case, but that Allison asked for was moderate and severe. And this shows you that same 14 patients and the, the metrics associated with it. And lastly, you can see how the, all the different metrics that we come across from the pathology reports are easily visualized in this dashboard. After publishing, uh, Allison and others can then go to the dashboard to review it. So the summary view, again, with that, the stacked graphs there, and then the heat map and the donut charts, and you can drill up and drill down. As well as that other tab with the details information on the top 10 drugs based on the diagnosis and severities you pick. as well as the metrics associated with the, the, the filters that you chose across the top. And then she can share this view with others very easily, just copy and paste that link and send it to someone. Lastly is this new feature in QuickSight called Q, and you can ask natural language questions of the data, like what are the top 10 patient IDs by total claims count, and it'll give you a new dynamic visualization. To recap, we use the AWS Data Exchange in this demo, which bridges the gap between providers and subscribers exchanging data, helping customers lower costs, become more agile, and innovate faster. We also use Amazon Redshift, which is a fully managed petabyte scale data warehouse service in the cloud. It is available both as a provision cluster or serverless, as demonstrated here. AWS Data Exchange for Redshift is one of the many ways data providers can publish data. It gives customers access to live, ready-to-use tables to query and analyze in services like Amazon Redshift as soon as they subscribe. Data providers such as Ovation publishes data in Redshift and shares this through the AWS Data Exchange. Data consumers then purchase the data through subscriptions in the AWS Data Exchange. Lastly, we used Amazon QuickSight in the demo, which enables BI for everyone in the organization. It is built on serverless architecture that enables consumption-based pricing and auto-scaling. Amazon QuickSight is a unified modern solution to author the entire experience from data connections to data prep, to analysis, to dashboards and insights delivered in multiple forms of delivery. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo of how AWS services like the AWS Data Exchange, Amazon Redshift, and AWS QuickSight can increase analytics velocity. It is really amazing how AWS empowers users so they can focus on data. Thank you so much for your time today.